what's up y'all um so i had gotten a request in a previous video as to how i do my brows and i don't really do them on camera too often just because it's kind of like a long journey to get through to get my brows done um but today i'm going to show you step by step how i do my brows um my brows are pretty bold and a little on the thicker side whenever i do do them um I sometimes can do them a little bit lighter, but I normally like to wear my brows with just a little bit more bold. So to do my brows, I need my brow gel of choice, which is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio uh, brow gel, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. Um, I use my absolute favorite eyebrow brush, which is this, it is from Essence, and I believe it is the angled... It's either the angled eyeliner brush or it might be an angled brow brush. I'm not quite sure, but if I can find it, I will uh, link it down below. Um, and then I also use a concealer. Now, the concealer doesn't really matter which one I use, what I use. Um, I, I don't really care. Um, I do have this one. This is also from Maybelline. It's the Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. Um, does it have a shade? This is in the shade 300 Light. I use this, but I feel that if I use too much of it, it kind of takes off my foundation around my brows whenever I'm cleaning it up, so I don't like that. Um, or I will use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade 15 Fair. Um, but like I said, I don't really have a preference. Wow, this is all Maybelline stuff. Sometimes if my brows are looking a little bit wonky up in the front or if I put on too much product, I will grab this from Maybelline as well. This is the Great Lash uh, Clear Gel. I think you can use it on your brows or your eyelashes. And I just use it to get out any, you know, product buildup that I have in the front of my brows. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to zoom the camera in and we are going to get started on my brows. So first things first, I am going to clip back my hair so that is out of the way. All right. And I'm sorry if I look over there too often at my monitors over there. So I always want to check to make sure that I'm in focus and frame, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's a nasty habit that I'm going to try and break. <laughs> so, the first thing that I will do is undo the product and I take my and I will take my uh, brow brush here and then just coat the product onto the brush. And any excess, I just wipe it off just like that on the side of it because I don't want too much on here, but I want to make sure that it's coated. Let me scoop my mirror up. Okay. So the first thing that I do, I go in right here underneath my brows and lightly just drag that to the side. down staying right on that hairline of my brow okay so then once we are done with that I'll go to the top and I'm not gonna go right here at the very front I'm gonna go a little bit back and then just start lining this on the top kind of fill it in as I go and then pick up a little bit more product if you need to and once I get right here to the arch of my brow I kind of curve my brush as I'm going around just like that And 
fill in any areas. If we mess up a little bit, that's fine because we're going to go in with concealer later and fix any kind of boo-boos that we make. And then I always have a problem right here rounding out that brow. It never wants to work. So once I have that and I don't have very much product left on my brush, if I do, I'll just kind of wipe it off on the wand. And I will start right here at the front, at the bottom, <clears throat> and push the brow hairs up. Just push them straight up. And I do have like a little bald spot right here underneath my brows. And I just make sure that I fill that in really well. But I just go in right here to the front and then just flick it up. Because I don't want a really harsh like block of color right there at the front of my brow. I just want to kind of feather it in. If you feel that you have too much product and you need to just kind of wipe it away, that's whenever I would use the clear brow gel just to kind of clean it up in there. Or you can just go in with a spoolie. And just flick this up just to kind of distribute that product So I'm pretty happy with how this brow is looking right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do my other one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go in with my concealer and I clean up around my brows. Now my brows, they usually don't look the same. Um, you know, they should be sisters, not twins. Well, mine are cousins, uh, twice removed. So I'm just going to go in and go in with my concealer and any sort of, you know, flat concealer, synthetic brush like this you can go in with and just clean up around the brows. If you need to fix a shape, do that. If you need to sharpen your tail, which I do, then we'll go ahead and do that right now. I go in with my brush, kind of like it's going in at me like this, so I'm just getting the tip of it. And then we just clean up. And if you feel that you might have gotten some uh, brow product onto your concealer brush, just grab something to wipe it off with, put some more concealer on your brush, and then go in and make another pass. You don't want to get brow product on this brush and try to go in and then you get a dark line on your face. That's not what we want to do. So, I'll just clean it off, pick up some more concealer. Go in under here. And just sharpen up that wing. Um, usually I don't really touch in with concealer up here. Um, I never really feel a need to unless I do get really, you know, kind of crazy or a little sloppy and I get my brow product down below my actual brow line. Um, but really, I only focus my concealer on my tails. Okay. 
Once I have the shape the way that I like it, my concealer is placed, I will grab a brush like this. It's very, very thin, very small, and I grab and I just kind of flick. That way the concealer blends into... That way the concealer kind of blends in and you don't see just a harsh line right there. And I do like to use a concealer that is just a teeny, 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 tiny bit lighter. Just because it adds a nice little highlight. Okay. So now that I use that one, I am going to use my Maybelline Fit Me on my other brow. And what I'll do, I'll just get it out and I'll just dab a little bit right there on my hand. And I mean, honestly, that's enough. That's probably going to be too much. Um... But you just pick up a little bit. I mean, you just need to barely coat your brush. You don't need to super saturate it or anything. And, you know, go back in, blot some more of it off. So, now we just clean it up. Okay. You see, I always do this on this brow. I'll kind of accidentally go in a little bit too far with my concealer. So in that case, I would just grab my brow brush. Usually I don't have to put any product on it. I will just re and stay that line right there. Just like that. Okay. And then grabbing my little flat brush and just kind of buffing. And blending that concealer out. Okay. And pull my mirror away so I can see what it looks like. See this brow over here? This brow always has such attitude. Okay, so there we have it. My brows are done. Let me fix my hair. Now, my brows are really bold and that's just how I personally like to wear them. Um, sometimes if I do want to go in with a lighter brow, which is not very often, but sometimes I do, um, I will take something like this. Now, I don't like this specific product. I like a different one that's in the same line. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Shape and Fill. It's the one that has like the kind of teardrop triangle thing going on. I don't like it. I cannot get a good line with it. I feel like I have to go even harder with my concealer whenever I use this product. I like using the Brow Stylus Definer. It is the one that is pencil thin and it gives you such like natural looking hair strokes. Um, oh my I thought I got concealer all over my shirt, but I didn't. I need to wipe this off my hand. I do that so much. I will swatch stuff on my hand and forget that it's there. It's disastrous, usually. Okay. 
Um, but on a more natural day, I will go in with a L'Oreal brow definer and, you know, do my brows natural, which is not very often. Um, I do like a bold brow, but that's usually because I wear a lot of makeup and I like bold. So for future videos, if I don't do my brows on camera, I will link this video down below in the description box just so you can see it if you, you know, want to refer back or anything like that. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it was helpful and useful. Honestly, this product is awesome. This is the, my f absolute favorite brow product that I have come across. Um, it stays on. You're not going to sweat it off. You're not going to wipe it off or smear it or anything like that. Um, it's an awesome product and I just, just try it. I mean, it's not that expensive. It's from Maybelline. It's, it's awesome. That's all I'm going to say. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you would, please like and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the notification bell because that's the only way you'll know that I have posted a video. So. I hope that you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know why I've been forgetting this lately. So ashamed of myself. Gotta highlight that brow bone. <laughs>